distinguished adventurers, I'm bookending the day. Welcome to the sketching hour. I'm Lauren. I'm here to eat cake and watch cake happen. Um, and I'm always, as always, I'm here with two fantastic artists who are also here for cake reasons. Michelle, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Michelle Papadopoulos. I'm one of the artists on Idol Champions and looking forward to drawing some cake today. <laughs> and Alexis, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm the art lead for Idol Champions and I wish I had some actual cake right here. Well, I have, I have cake for both of us because I told chat I would have cake and thus I have cake. And why do we have cake? Because it's Idol Champions. Happy birthday. Yay. Yay. Anniversary, I guess. I guess if it's a game, it's an anniversary. So uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, our rolling table is a little different than normal. This is the third week in a row. I think at this point, the not normal is the normal. But on the sketching hour, we take usually three rolling tables, today two, and we roll some uh, d20s and the random rolls that come up are two amazing artists will spend some time crafting creatures that meld all of those together while I work with chat to come up with backstories and information about those creatures and eat cake. But today, because it's the Idol Champions anniversary and we are celebrating with cake, our adjective is, is cake. Yes, that's right. <laughs> They're drawing cake or we'll have a cake. I, I'm going to leave it up to them. But let's let's get some rolling going. So I believe uh, Michelle is rolling for a monster and Alexis is rolling for cute animals. Hear that dice. Sounds good. Ooh. All right. What's okay. our monster? I got two for mermaid. Ooh. Ooh. All and right. I got 14 for jellyfish. <gasps> that's oh. ironic. All right. <laughs> I think that's probably going to be a good thing. So a um, a mermaid jellyfish cake. Jellyfish <laughs> cake. I'm just writing this down. Sure thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised every week, but I, I really am. So our artists are using a program called Magma Studios, which is a fun program that you can use online so that you can share a drawing board and we can watch what they are doing and um, eat cake. Mm. I'm sorry, it's been sitting here the whole time and I need to have a... Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. All right, I'm going to put this way away from me so that I'm not like eating on camera for the entire time. But I promise chat cake. Okay. Um... So while they get started, I'll go ahead and do some thank yous. I believe we have Martin in chat as one of our amazing moderators. Thank you, Martin. If you do have any questions about uh, Idol Champions, for our artists, about art, about cake, uh, about other things, go ahead and put those in chat with question in all caps at the beginning of your question. Martin will be grabbing those. I will attempt to pass along questions to our artists and eat more cake. And that, that's basically what I'm doing today. That's why I'm here. Also, if anyone has any suggestions for uh, replacements, which I haven't had a chance to get in a while. We've gone through a lot of animals and um, animals and monsters. We've gone through a lot of those recently. So if anyone has any suggestions for replacements for next week, I'm always interested in hearing. Otherwise, Let's let's get going. How's how's everybody's day? How, Michelle, how's how's been your anniversary at Idol Champions Day going? <laughs> it's going pretty good. Yeah, we're working on a skin mm. that I'm excited about. So yeah, awesome. Did so a whole bunch of stuff came out today with the Witchlight drop and the Witchlight skins. Did you work on any of those? Yeah, yeah, those are really fun. Nice. Did Spurt skin and, um, oh, I can't remember the ones I did, but Spurt was definitely one of them. That was a fun one. Oh, yeah. And if you are in our chat, I, I don't have the image right now, but the Spurt Witchlight skin is available as our giveaway for uh, celebrating our anniversary. So I believe, yep, there we go. Get yourself Spurt. I know there was a, a command in chat that someone's going to do. Uh, and Alexis, how how is your Idol Champions Happy Anniversary Day going? Oh, it's going pretty good. It's a pretty well, like it's a pretty normal day. Like all of the art anniversary stuff happened weeks and weeks ago, so it's just like quietly watching everything happen, and it's been yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, 
I mean, I guess if you are, I don't know if there's anything going on um, outside of like the stream and the content drop and everything. Uh, it, it must all be a little bit more calm if you're not the person, I mean, now you are the people on stream celebrating the anniversary. So, so this is going to be the hour where you get like flooded with uh, joyful birthday stuff, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and did you have a chance to work on any of the Witchlight stuff that you can talk about? Yes, yeah, I did the Witchlight Okira skin and Familiar. Yeah, that that day when I, I had a very fun message pop up, it was just like, hey, what do you think about this? <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I looked at that skin for a very long time and just smiled and jumped up and down in glee. Uh, <laughs> and I have wanted cotton candy ever since seriously have been uh, craving cotton candy. It's not like you can go to a county fair around here very easily or anywhere. I, like, where do you get cotton candy outside of a fair? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Chat, where, where can you get cotton candy that isn't at a uh, festival of some sort? Maybe you can buy a cotton candy machine and just have it in your house. <laughs> 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 that's a that's a purchase that's gonna take some convincing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Luke, for our anniversary, I would like cotton candy machine. Mm. Oh wait, <laughs> all right. The chat is filled with with uh, suggestions. Yes, you can make it yourself. Uh, I don't know if you need a cotton candy machine to do it, but maybe. Uh, candy store, Erica says that's actually yeah. I'd, I'd have to go looking for a candy store around here. Um. You, uh, Coffina says you can make a cotton candy machine from home. Uh, I mean, I guess I know what I'm looking up on YouTube later. How to make cotton candy machines. I know it just is a lot of sugar. It's not like cotton candy is um, a lot of ingredients. It's literally just sugar and I think food coloring. I think, I think that's it. Right. Yeah. yeah. I've, oh. It's just sugar floss, right? Yes, yes. Candy floss is, I think, um, is that what it's called in Canada? Because I know that's what it's called in England, I think. Uh, in Canada, I think they just call it cotton candy. Okay. I know there are places that call it the, the candy floss or can or uh, floss something. So, yeah. Uh, sponge sugar and food coloring, I am seeing. Really? A cotton candy machine is only 80 bucks? Okay. I thought it was way more expensive than that. Also, that is still not convincing me to try to convince my husband to try to buy one because all... Okay, maybe I... The home version of the cotton candy machine is different, but I am picturing the only way that I know how to make cotton candy, which is the giant machine that you get at the carnival that, like, the person sticks their entire hand into and it's spinning around and then the next thing you know, you've got the big poofy cotton candy i i'm learning a lot about cotton candy today folks this is amazing oh uh all you court isn't hauled all you need is a hair dryer and a bowl with a hole in the side it causes a few fires but it's cheap <laughs> <laughs> you know what in the spirit of orkira a few fires but then you end up with cotton candy is kind of right up her alley <laughs> still not able to uh still don't think that's going to help convince my husband to get a cotton candy machine but that's okay Probably for a diet, that's for the best. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Colonel Sidequest says cotton candy in French translates to dad's beard. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, slightly appetizing. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beard. <laughs> wow. That's. Also, uh, now that just means that everybody's dad needs to have a beard of multitude of colors. You know, blues and pinks. I think that'd be awesome, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd want to mm -hmm. eat it, but... <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Phoenician Ultimatum, who, who says that if, if my husband won't let you get a cotton candy machine, it's you need a new husband. All right. So here's the thing. It's not that he won't let me. It's that we are a partnership. And I am very well aware that a cotton candy machine in my house would be a frivolous purchase that might be used once. And so, like, if he's if he's like, nah, I'd, I'm going to listen to him. If we are both adults and if I really want something, I can just buy it and he's fine with it and the same thing. But in this case, you know, so, you, you know how sometimes you know you're not supposed to buy something or get something or use something, but you really want it anyway? 
And so you ask someone who is more responsible than you <laughs> so that you have a reason to say no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what this is. Luke, will you, we, should we get a cotton candy machine? And he will be reasonable and say no. Hopefully. Hopefully he'll be reasonable <laughs> and say no. Uh, anyway, we should get back to <laughs> the, the art that's being drawn here. Uh, for those that are wondering, this is... Um, we, well, we got mermaid, jellyfish is cake. So I have to ask, we we had on the adjective list is cake. Mm -hmm. Are you, are either of you actually making a creature that is made out of cake? Are you making a creature that has a cake with them? Like what, how have you translated is cake? Mm. Go ahead, Michelle. <laughs> I, I think mine's going to be part cake. I'm still figuring that out as I go, but I, I have an idea. Okay. She's also eating cake, so it's kind of creeping me out <laughs> that maybe she's eating part of herself. <laughs> so that's why I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> that's very Alice in Wonderland. That's very <laughs> yeah. that's that's very dark fay, which is kind of appropriate <laughs> for today. I'm into this. All right. All right, and Alexis, you're still working on stuff? Um well she's making cake. And I don't think she's actually going to be made of cake, but I'm hoping to include these little, like, cake jellyfish around her that are cake. Ooh. Like now, cupcake jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've talked before about how I am uh, unreasonably terrified of jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Cake jellyfish actually sounds amazing. Cause they, Might be a little soggy. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little. A little. But, like... I know jellyfish can get huge, but for whatever reason, I'm picturing like those little tiny ones, the ones that yeah. are that are still deadly and scary, but are only like, <laughs> you know, four or five inches at most. And like that perfect little, oh, oh, I just saw McNeil DJ. It's sponge cake. <laughs> I am, I am impressed. Absolutely. Sponge cake. Okay. With that... Uh, let's go to some questions from the chat. I see that Martin has already been hard at work. Um, Martin also says I can make cotton candy machine with a drill. What? How have I never known that apparently you can just, you can bodge together a cotton candy machine in your garage in five minutes. Apparently that's just a thing. Okay. Uh, Garwar asks, do you keep screenshots of all the hello art, all the hello art you have at the top of the streams? Sadly, I don't. No. No. I should. <laughs> but here's the thing. We have them on video, and I yeah. can go back and grab them there. It's not going to be quite as high quality, but we should. We might be able to um, grab them some, from some of our old canvases, too. I'm not quite sure how long uh, the hmm. sort of link remains active, but I think at least for a while. Ooh. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, I can go look at that. I also don't mind that those are, like they're, a lot of them are gorgeous and the stuff that you do is amazing, um, that the both of you do is amazing. I just, I kind of like that that's a moment of transitory art that is only <laughs> available for the people who show up at the beginning of the stream. And then it's wiped away to be replaced by mermaids eating cake versions of themselves. <laughs> 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 or something like that. Um, evil Emperor Zerg is first on the line with a suggestion for a replacement creature. I'm assuming a cute animal, ferret. Which, ferrets are adorable. They also are uh, a little stinky. And uh, <laughs> my sister had two of them as pets, and they are adorable and stinky and um, slightly more destructive than a cat. Uh, but they were very adorable. Uh, I'll put the ferret on down. We have a meerkat already on the mm. back end list. Because I, I don't think we've got ferrets on the list. We have weasel. All right. When yeah. weasel is off the list, we'll we'll start going through the meerkat ferret grouping. <laughs> through, through the long slinky animals. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm just putting them in categories. Any Anything that's tubular is now going to go under a separate listing. <laughs> Uh, the lurking writer suggests glass or crystal oh, as an adjective. I, I like that a lot. Glass. And then they suggested a frog for uh, assumably a cute animal. And we had frogs. 
Uh, that was actually, I think, the first thing that we did. Mm -hmm. Fire frogs. Uh, fire frogs, yeah. So, so you have a excellent suggestion. Uh, so good, we've already used it. Um, yeah, new adjective, tubular. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> that totally would be tubular. pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Danimal Roar comes in with what was the dice roll for today? Welcome. Uh, so because this is the... We're celebrating the anniversary of Idol Champions. We are celebrating with Is Cake. So our adjective is Is Cake. And today we rolled Mermaid and Jellyfish. So that's that's what's what's going on. So apparently it is undersea cake. <laughs> uh, Kayla Cats, question on the anniversary. I went to the blog to get the anniversary chest as you suggested earlier for afternoon, but I can't see where the login to get it. Ah, that is a, a slight misunderstanding. If that might be my fault, you don't actually go to the blog; you go to the game. So the bl I was pointing to the people to the blog this morning because nothing was alive yet. I did a show from nine till eleven this morning Pacific, and everything for the anniversary and Witchlight didn't go live until noon. So I was pointing people to the blog if they wanted to see more information. But now that it's all live, you can just go into your game. And there'll be a, uh, one of those little tabs at the top, not tabs, like a little piece of art and it'll say anniversary celebration. You click on that and that'll have all the anniversary stuff. And that's where you can get your anniversary chest for today. You'll want to log in every day over the next seven days because every day will give you a chest full of goodies. And if you log in four of the seven days, then you'll get a special Delano Witchlight skin which is also gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, I do wonder, um, like, I don't think I'm ever going to get, uh, not sick of, but like, it's been really neat seeing all the different wings that have been coming out for everybody. And everything, everybody looks so different. And they're all so beautiful. So uh, it's just been really nice to see, like, like, even a character that you would think would not necessarily have really pretty delicate wings like Spurt. Spurt has like these gorgeous dragonfly wings and it's just like, <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Uh, all right. <laughs> Nan Breadloaf says maybe a cotton candy machine will be the anniversary, will be an anniversary gift. <laughs> um, so uh, I told everybody this morning, the this weekend is my, is Luke and I's uh, wedding anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary. So, thank you. So yeah. it's like, Anniversary, anniversary, right right after. Um, our anniversary present to each other, uh, and I'm going to put this out on socials uh, probably, so it's not that big of a deal, is we are actually taking a little bit of trip to, um, it's about two hours away. We rented a cabin. It's one of those Airbnbs where you just get the whole place uh, oh, outside nice, of Leavenworth. Nice. And so we're just, we're doing a, a safe, go be by ourselves, but somewhere other than home vacation. <laughs> For a day and a half. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited to go. And I'm hopeful that we are far enough away from civilization that I can actually see the stars. Oh, oh that would be nice. Be nice. Yeah. That's the hope. And if not, that's okay. Because it'll it'll also just involve a lot of uh, sleeping in and napping. Also okay. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> because when you get to our age, naps are amazing. Naps are so good. Yeah. Uh, Garwar says, we had one where I worked at a middle school for dances. So messy. Yeah, like, I I mean, I've already shown that I don't actually know that much about cotton candy machines. But I seem to remember from watching them work at carnivals that on a regular basis, they're like enclosed in plexiglass and there is just sugar splattered everywhere. Um... So I'd imagine, yeah, that they get super messy and sticky, but worth it. <laughs> uh, the real bunny beast wants to have a poll to try to let uh, the chat convince uh, or poll for a cotton candy machine. Listen, we are all on board for the, the cotton candy machine. <laughs> I am 100% behind the chat saying, yay, cotton candy machine. Y'all don't have to live with a cotton candy machine in your apartment, though. <laughs> and so the only person that matters to me about whether they want this or not is the other person who lives in this apartment. <laughs> I love y'all, but there's, there's one other person who gets a vote. 
and it's not any of you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can um, pull to get one at like the C and E office. <laughs> I mean, like, I need any more reason to visit the CNE office. Yeah. It's like, hey, come see all your awesome coworkers you've been working for for a while, and you know, see the office. Also, cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how you know Eric is like desperate to get people back into the office. It's just like, also, we have a cotton candy machine <laughs> and corn dogs. <laughs> oh, Coffina says. I've worked making cotton candy, so I can confirm that my hair was stiff as a board. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. No, thank you. I mean, maybe that's why that whole cotton candy in French is is uh, dad's beard. Like, just it's stiff hair. I don't, I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't know if I want it to be that, that crunchy. Oof. Okay. Let's see. Do, do we have questions that are not can cotton candy related? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, here we go. Thank you. Um, Duena 99, do you ever have ghost as a monster? I can't remember. Um, we don't have it on the list. Um, I'll put it on the back end list. I've been trying to avoid humanoid monsters. Um, you know, like zombies or ghosts or or stuff like that, and just kind of be selective about it. Uh, obviously, mermaid is kind of a half humanoid, but I can put ghost on the list. I just feel like it's been more fun combining non-humanoid creatures. But maybe that's just me. Let's see. Oh, and then Monster Mangler comes along and says, ghost would probably be better as an adjective, like ghostly. Yeah, that would work. Ooh. Okay, uh, Michelle, Alexis, would you rather have ghost as a creature or ghostly as an adjective? Mm -hmm. Double ghost. <laughs> I was about to say, because otherwise we're ending up with a ghost ghost. Yeah. First time, either of them works, because then yeah. whatever we land on is going to be ghostly. So Yeah. I think it might be nice to have an adjective because then we can see some ghost versions of monsters that we love. Yeah, that would be kind of neat. All right. Ghostly is now officially on the list. Um, old man master says, I need a penguin. Will you go to Antarctica? Wait, is it Antarctica or is it the North Pole that has penguins? No, I think it's Antarctica. Antarctica, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I remembered after I said it that there's only one of the poles has actual penguins. <laughs> but yes, I, I'm assuming you mean on the list. Uh, I don't know if we have penguin. We did penguin already. Oh, that's right. You know, there's been, penguins. Yeah, there's been 20 episodes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I forget sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the other thing that I don't have. So the reason that the code is Hoot and Clover, and I don't have the art here with me, but the two familiars that are based on uh, sketching our creatures that got drawn here and were voted by you are live in the store right now. So you can get Hoot the, um, the, oh geez, I am. A growl bear, what is it, fox? The, no. You know what? <laughs> the fox owl bear. <laughs> yes, sorry like that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull up the thing, here we go. Uh, Hoot the overgrown owl bear fox. Oh, that's it, yeah. And Clover the flower dragon parrot familiar, so. Uh, both of those packs are available right now in the store, and I am I am so happy. They they look absolutely adorable. How how happy were the two of you to see those creatures in the game after having drawn them in an hour on a stream? Oh, I'm so it's, happy! Yeah, it's, it's, so it's cool. amazing. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have a lot of our, our art in the game, but yeah, but to have something that we designed from scratch kind of is really cool. Yeah, and I think like. Not just designed from scratch, but designed from scratch in the crucible of in front of an audience. <laughs> uh, yeah, in an hour. Yeah, in an hour is amazing. Um, were there any last minute changes, additions, or things that you did in order to translate what you did on stream into a familiar that would work in game? Um, well, it's smaller. I had to kind of condense them down into familiar size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take away a lot of the details and stuff. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they're still adorable and they still have so much detail, so I love them. And also TTRP <laughs> Gifts is now in chat because Owl Bears was said out loud and thus they're here. <laughs> well, <Welcome. laughs> exactly. Um, Babylon Ranger 2261 says meerkats, mongoose are different families than weasels and ferrets. Distant cat relatives versus distant dog relatives. You are 100% correct. They're also cute, fuzzy, tubular animals who look very similar. And so when it comes to an art stream, it's it's like, well, are, are, are we going to have essentially the same creature several times in a row? But you are absolutely correct. Um, I, Iomia asks, crouched or ducked ag adjectives? I'm, no, I'm assuming you mean ducked as in crouched down and not... <laughs> like a duck <laughs> although we could do both <laughs> I'm, yeah i'm kind of into this this, this crouched or ducked mm -hmm. <laughs> this is kind of like when you say duct tape and people ask you about uh, a foul piece of tape and you're like no no not that kind of foul not duck tape duct tape <laughs> uh Ducked. There we go. I'm just putting ducked on the list in like three weeks from now. I'm going to go, what? Mm. Uh, Kevin Bulware, how many years? Uh, we just completed. So it's our fourth anniversary. So we are in year five of Idol Champions. Welcome. Or if you mean my my personal wedding anniversary, um, this will be our sixth anniversary. So we've been around slightly longer than Idol Champions. <laughs> <laughs> that was unintentional but that's that's the okay for for luke and i yeah well this will be our sixth anniversary which um i think someone told me this morning what that is it's not the paper it's not the i have to look it up every year that we've had an anniversary and it's like oh i wonder what what the thing is you're supposed to have for this anniversary um Oh, Andrew Merch says it's iron or sugar. Iron or sugar. That is, okay, iron, that's amazing. If it is a sugar anniversary, then we might have to go get some cotton candy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what, what, is, what is the correlation between iron and sugar? What? Oh, that's a weird combination. <laughs> that is so random i know that originally those those lists of like hey this is the kind of gift you're supposed to get people for their anniversary i want to say those are created as like hallmark holiday kinds of things they're not any kind of of uh actual historical thing i seem to remember hearing that it was just something that stores came up with as a way to get you to buy things mm, um yeah. Iron and sugar are both crunchy, says Doorbell Streams. Yes, <laughs> this is true. And Autistic Sweet says both are edible if you try hard enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. I mean, I wasn't planning on having uh, iron. I mean, I, I guess I have iron supplements. So there you go. You know what? I'm going to just look this up. Uh, anniversary wedding gifts. I mean, traditional uh, yeah, candy or iron. Chat is right. Why? <laughs> I mean, every other thing is like paper, cotton, leather, fruit or flowers, wood. Like all of that, quote unquote, makes sense. Candy or iron. What? No. That's it's a one or the other, but not both. Okay. Anyway, because of reasons. <laughs> Uh, I will look into what we can get uh, for candy and or iron this weekend. Gotta get that cotton candy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a sign. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid some of the cotton candy questions, but now I kind of want to go back to it. Um, <laughs> like Anathemus Egan says, you can rent a cotton candy machine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, how, how expensive. I would rather just go find a candy store and buy some cotton candy, but you know, <laughs> maybe for fun one day. Um, the lurking writer says, can we suggest plants and or mythological creatures or must they be actual animals or D&D specific monsters? 
What do you I think? Thinking, I'm thinking that it'd be fun to do some like plant combinations for a little while. Like imagine having like a cactus, um, I don't know, a cactus blink dog or like an orchid something, but maybe it could go on the adjectives list. Maybe. I mean, we had Leafy that came up last yeah. week. Mm -hmm. And there is a shambling mound currently on the monster list. And I know a shrub came up as a suggestion, <laughs> um, which I'm partial to because of Penelope and her shrub cloak. But I haven't quite figured out if that is a cute, it's not a cute animal, but it's not a monster. So, yeah. Uh, but no, I think, I think that's all but very possible. Maybe the adjective list should be the uh, the whatever we feel like. List. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once anything again, anything goes. Exactly. I mean, we're literally doing is cake today, so I mean, <laughs> it's 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 whatever sounds like fun. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll we'll take them. Some of them <laughs> may need massaging just to make it kind of work. But yeah, I think plants are fine. Mythological creatures are also fine. We've been trying to keep the monsters as D&D &D monsters just so that it is D&D &D related. But um, it wouldn't surprise me if most of the mythological creatures that people are going to suggest have some sort of D&D &D equivalent because that's what D&D &D does. <laughs> A lot of these monsters are based on something. Um... I'm just going to skip over some more of these cotton candy suggestions. And we're going to see. <laughs> just, I love y'all, but uh, I am I already have a half a piece of cake here. I got to finish. Uh, Real Raynor suggests an adjective of hungry, which I have no idea why anyone would be hungry after this stream. <laughs> I'll put it on the list. Um, the Lurking Writer suggests a displacer beast or the Illithid Mind Flayer gnomes. Um, so we, we did do Mind Flayer. Yep. I'm trying to remember what the, I know. Oh, it's the mice. Mouse. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, those cute mice. Most adorable illithids. Uh, but Displacer Beast, I think, is new. Um, we, we'll have to be careful that we don't end up with Cat Cat, but I will put Displacer Beast on the list. Um, Henry Lowenwind wants to know, has the store been fixed already? Uh, I'll have to ask if you can find out. I, I know the team has been working on a couple of the rollouts for stuff, and some platforms have taken a little bit longer than others. If you can double check, if we can double check with you in chat, what um, platform are you on and what issue are you having? Uh, we can see if we can get that figured out. But I know that the team has been hard at work making sure that the rollout happens for everybody. Uh, banana... Oh, yes! Uh, Banana Mobster, who is now reminding me that we never showed off last week's art. It's like this week we had a lot of stuff to do. And uh, Banana Mobster is reminding me because Banana Mobster submitted some fan art. But first, <laughs> their question, is there going to be a Tia What familiar at some point? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we just had a big Tia Matt thing. So one, one Tia at a time. Uh, for those of you who missed last week, last week we did a, a special sketching hour that was celebrating the Trials of Mount Tiamat being released. And so last week's art included this amazing monstrosity. <laughs> 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 that was um, the, the red dragon base was already drawn. And then each of our lovely artists uh, picked two heads and they did a monster and an... Uh, an adjective and then a cute animal and an adjective. So, I mean, what more can I say? Then there you go. Just look at those teeth. Also, as, as I said, Banana Mobster reminded me because they also did some fan art of the Tia oh, ones. That's awesome. Oh, wow. I am so impressed by the luscious hair you got on that, on that creature. That is amazing. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to draw along with us or craft your own monster, either by rolling on the rolling table yourself or by doing the same thing that we are, definitely post it. You can post it on our Discord. 
which is discord.gg slash idle champions, or post it on uh, social media. Definitely tag us if you do. You can use the hashtag sketching hour so that we can see it and let us know if we can share it. And maybe your fan art will end up next to all of the other amazing Tia Wats. Um, and, and you know what? If you, if you also have cake, if you enjoy a piece of cake today in celebration of our anniversary, go ahead and take a picture and let us know. <laughs> that I might not share on the stream, but we would love to see it if, if you're enjoying a piece of cake. Okay. Let's go back to questions. Barefoot Monkey says, I love meerkats. They're like fuzzy periscopes. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I am I am amused and, cons and concerned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am being told by Martin a giveaway is about to start. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, if you are listening in, if, if you're doing the wonderful listen and lurk, which I do for a lot of streams, uh, but you would like to participate in today's giveaway for this stream, definitely come to the chat because there is now information in chat from Martin how to enter for a chance to win four D6s from Idle Champions. These are the D6s that have Iris on them. All you have to do is put cotton candy into the chat. Gee, I wonder where that suggestion came from. <laughs> Put that into the chat. You'll be entered for a chance to win four D6s that we will send to you. Uh, one of the reasons that we're talking about this on the stream and mentioning is because we're trying to run these giveaways uh, in a timely manner so that, you know, the chat isn't filled with people entering the giveaway at the last minute. So get your chance in now. <laughs> um, let's go back to questions. Meanwhile, Real Raynor says, adjective lumpy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Lumpy. I can add that to the list. Watch us get Lumpy Camel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Lurking Writer suggests Moby Duck and Quackthulhu. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So wait, are you suggesting... Are, are, you, are you suggesting that we do a, a duck-whale crossover and a duck-Cthulhu crossover? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't even think Cthulhu's on the list. Hmm. Because I think Cthulhu... I have to look into that. I know we were talking about, like, Eldritch Horrors and everything. Also, I don't know if Duck is on the list. I don't think it is. I, I mean... did see a delightful video of someone putting, like, little flowers on Duck's heads this morning, and it Aww. made my day. <laughs> that does sound lovely. It was awesome. <laughs> we do have platypus on the list. Is that close enough to a duck? <laughs> and Martin says that Cthulhu is obviously a cute animal. Yes. 100%. <laughs> um, let's see. Nan Breadloaf. Time to go out and buy a sword for an anniversary gift, I guess. We thought about it. So uh, my husband in a previous life did fencing in college. And also, it, so his last name is McKay. And so he has an ancestral broadsword, which we have uh, sitting on top of the mantle and is huge. It is massive and it is kind of epic. And we've thought about getting another sword for me, but it would just be decorative. And like the more I think about it, the more I don't want a decorative sword. I would mm -hmm. want to know how to use it. And if I'm honest with myself, I'm not taking sword lessons. Why not? <laughs> Partially because, uh, like, that sounds awesome until you think about the amount of work. Like, I'm just going to mm -hmm. be honest here. Like, I think about what it would actually take for me to learn how to wield a sword, and I'm really not interested. I would rather learn how to shoot a bow. Um, mm -hmm. Also, then I would just have a sword kind of lying around the house, and that feels... Like, his sword has some history behind it and ancestry, and he also learned how to fence. I would just have a sword. I don't Depends know how pretty works. the sword is, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's true. Decorate your place. Uh, just hang a whole bunch of swords behind you. Yeah. Get rid of all the D&D &D stuff and just mm -hmm. have it be swords. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. I think swords are super cool, and people who have them, that's awesome, and they enjoy them. I just feel like, personally, if I'm going to have a sword, I should have some connection to it other than, look, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, do either of you have swords? Uh, no. 
No. Would, would no either, swords. Would either of you like swords? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Actually, yeah. The yeah, pens are pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having like a prop sword in like a costume trunk, like with all my various different like Halloween bits and things. Oh, actually, I think I do have a plastic one when I was a pirate a few years ago. Ooh. There we go. I do have one. Yay. <laughs> See, that sounds fun to me. Like a, a nice, a, first off, you're not spending hundreds, thousands of dollars on a real sword. Also prop swords, like then you get to have fun with them and then you're dressing up as something like that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And if you don't know how to use it, you're probably not going to accidentally hurt somebody. <laughs> this is true. As someone who on a regular basis has to deal with incredibly sharp knives, do not want to play around with swords. Nope. Nope. Don't do it. Also, if you happen to be holding onto any kind of blade and drop it, don't try to catch it. Mm -hmm. You will always catch it by the blade with your hand. And as my uh, obo teacher used to say, the knife can be replaced. The hand cannot. So when you drop the knife, don't catch it with the hand. Oof. Yeah, it was one of the best bits of read making advice I ever got and has probably saved my hands multiple times because y you would think it would be weird to be working on oboe reads and drop the knife you're holding but you don't have to be that clum like I'm not a clumsy person I think I'm relatively normal dexterity wise I've <laughs> dropped that knife multiple times all the time it's ridiculous. Hmm. And so having the instinct to like flinch away is the correct instinct. I think everybody probably enjoyed the cot cotton candy discussion way more than the slice yourself with knives conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, Jester, 98125. More importantly, oh, more importantly, iron gifts aren't just for six anniversaries. Iron is a symbol of stability and endurance. As the years of your marriage grow, so does your bond. You can gift iron pieces at any anniversary. First, sixth, even your 16th. First off, that was beautiful. Thank you. Second off, I now just want to gift Luke a hunk of iron. <laughs> like, not anything made out of iron. Just like a bar. Here's an iron ingot. <laughs> it's stable. <laughs> <laughs> like our love. <laughs> I want a paperweight. <laughs> He could melt it down and create a sword. Yeah. You know, Luke is crafty enough that he probably could. <laughs> um, <laughs> Coffina. Oh, they have apparently PM'd me a guide to making my own cotton candy machine. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. I will, I, I will take a look at that later. I will take you up on your offer. Sure. Um, all right. Onyx Squared says, what about things on a microscopic level, like tardigrades? Uh, Martin seconds tardigrades, and I believe... I think we have it on there. It's mm -hmm. on there. It's number nine. Yes. That is one of the more recent additions. I don't think it was on there before the last three weeks of ridiculousness that we've been going through. <laughs> um, but yes, absolutely. If you would like to give us a microscopic creature... I am more than happy to take it because tardigrades. And yes, yes, tardigrades are adorable. <laughs> I saw, I don't know if either of you saw, um, it was like a couple of days ago, Canon put out a, it's a website. Um, they do a competition every year that is specifically for pictures that have been taken at the, not the microscopic level, but like through a microscope for scientific purposes but then are submitted as art pieces i have to look ah. this up they're the pictures are amazing i bet they are absolutely gorgeous and there there was a picture one of them i, I went through like the last couple of years because i just got um partially blown away by how gorgeous some of these pictures are and partially like enamored with turning them all into D, &D creatures because <laughs> they all look like D, D creatures uh here we go here we go this is the, oh, it's Nikon, not can, Canon. I'm sorry. The Nikon Small World Competition. Uh, if you go to NikonSmallWorld.com and it's uh, images captured by a light microscope. And Very cool. They're super cool. 
they're just and and some of them you can't even really tell what the original image was you look at it and you're like oh this is a nebula out in the middle of space it's like and then you read the description and it's a bunch of scientific jargon about like cells <laughs> but it's gorgeous it's amazing oh i should go back to the the actual gorgeous amazing art that's going on here sorry um let's see Real Raynor suggests sparkly as an adjective. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I got an ooh from both of the artists. It's going on the list. <laughs> Rachelle and I are both like, rainbows and sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for rainbows and sparkles. I, I like that it's sparkly and not with glitter. <laughs> well, if it's glitter, it should be the biodegradable kind that you can get. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if only because then when you end up with that glitter somewhere, it will eventually go away. Because <laughs> otherwise... <laughs> um, Devig says, have you had Beholder as a monster on the list yet? Mm -hmm. Um, yes. I'm blanking on... Otters. Yes! Oh yeah, right. otters. That's right, yeah. Um, oh yeah, the, the, those are the most adorable Beholders ever. And then TTRP Gifts says, is Chewinga Mast an adjective? Interesting. I we have Chewinga on the monster list, I think. Yeah, number 11 is Chewinga. Um, that's, that's an interesting idea, though. After we get done with Chewinga, we'll I'll see about maybe getting the the mask on there because those, those masks are pretty cool. Yeah, it makes me think that like having like something like witch light as an adjective would be really fun. Like then it comes up and you make the witch light carnival version. You know what? That. I will add that to the list right now. Sweet. <laughs> Although I have to ask, is is with wings different than witch light, or is witch light more about the whole aesthetic of the colorful streamers and stuff, and it just happens to include wings? Yeah, I think it's like a whole aesthetic. Okay. Not just wings. But but the wings are awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh, something's been highlighted for me. Balkan, 25. I have to, I have to un... Martin, I appreciate that, but the purple is really hard to read. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Balkan, 25. I would like to give a shout out to everyone at CNE Games. Oh, thank you. They've been... They have all been giving their all in the past couple weeks of some awesome new content for Idle Champions. Well, thank you. Glad you enjoy. Thanks. We have been enjoying, um, it, it's been a lot of weeks of a lot of stuff that we've been preparing for, but it's also kind of exciting. So, uh, yeah, Martin, sorry, I didn't mean to, I appreciate the, uh, the coloring so that I could see it. Um, maybe it's just my screen. I was just like, there's, that's a giant thing of purple. Uh, but thank you, uh, Balkan. We really appreciate it. It's been it's been a lot of fun, and especially this community has been so um, welcoming, and we've been having fun, especially with all the streams, with having everybody in chat. So thank you. Uh, let's get a couple more questions in before we got to go. <laughs> Barefoot Monkey says new adjective for the table: made of swords. Okay. Made of swords? Made of swords, yeah. So not, oh. not with a sword, but made of swords. That would probably take a long time to draw. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing the, um, the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would take a while to draw, but I'm kind of intrigued. I'm putting it on the list just for fun. <laughs> I'll, I'll, if, if you end up vetoing it, uh, yeah. Uh, Binderu says, my husband always says a falling knife has no handle. Yeah, that is apt. Absolutely. Um, Zaniqua says, I recently saw an ad for Iron D6s. They were marketed as sixth anniversary gifts. Ooh. I mean, there's a lot of of D and D TTRPG companies now that you can get really high quality dice from, like whole sets, not just D6s. Um, and I do know iron is one of the things you can get made out of dice. And I would definitely get Luke iron dice, or he could get me iron dice if it wasn't for the fact that I'll move my head. Uh, we already own a lot of dice. Like, look at, look, that's a lot of dice boxes right there. Um, we don't need any more dice. 
but that is kind of cool. I do like that. Oh, Andrew Merck says that, Michelle, your mermaid is confusing and disturbing. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you you two have kind of knocked it out of the park when we were too busy talking about uh, cotton candy here. Those are <laughs> those are amazing. Okay, so we've got we've got an yes, that that I'm eating myself. Okay, okay, wait. Is it that the mermaid is made out of cake or is it that she is wearing a, a inner tube style thing that is made out of cake? A jelly sponge cake. Yeah, like I'm picturing just the jelly part is cake, the rest of her is normal, so maybe maybe she like grows this <laughs> muffin top. <laughs> <laughs> and it just like keeps when she eats part of it then it just grows back and then she can just keep eating herself yeah it's a muffin top cake top <laughs> i'm just gonna be back here eating cake and listen this is amazing <laughs> keep going wow yeah if there was that's that's the most fey thing i've ever i've ever heard that's amazing and then, and then uh, Alexis over here on the right with these. Mm -hmm. So, are these um, jellyfish that they're just getting wonderful little toppers of of cake topping on, or are these actual jellyfish cakes? I think they're actually jellyfish cake. Like you, could, you could eat one if you wanted to. Okay, I mean they're yeah. kind of adorable. I'm still they're terrified. Tasty. Though. <laughs> and the, I love that dress. That is so obviously a part of a jellyfish. That's amazing. Thanks. Very <laughs> poofy. <laughs> Super poofy. Um, all right. Let me grab a couple more questions, and then we will get ready to go raid the Penny Arcade, because the C-Team is on tonight. And um, we need to go see what all of our friends over at the C-Team are doing. But first... Uh, the lurking writer suggests nebula for an adjective like a star field. Ooh, I know cool. we've got, um, oh, I don't have the adjective list. I, I want to say in space or something space related is on our list, but I will add nebula to the list. Star Chaser 43 says a D&D player who, that owns too many dice. Inconceivable. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, listen, own the dice you want. Enjoy. I, I am friends with Goblin Katie from D4, who has a dice collection that can rival companies that actually own dice. That brings her joy, and that's amazing. I start to feel guilty if I own... It's kind of like the swords. I start to feel guilty if I own dice that I don't use. And so, mm -hmm. like... If I end up with a set of dice sitting around for more than, you know, a couple of games, like I, I just haven't used this dice in a while. If I don't feel the need to use the dice, I start to look to like give it away to somebody or do something with, but I do have a, a, a lot of sets of dice. So I, I probably have too many dice. Luke has, I only think two sets, which is kind of life goals in a way. <laughs> I wish I could just be, be at two sets though. Um, oh, and then Star Chaser 43 says, a wizard did it. What more reason is needed? Okay, well, there you go. Just asking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, oh, and we've, uh, Chronos Moonlight suggests, what about Stellar or Luna to go after the Nebula Starfield? Kind of like Lunar. Can play off the moon. Yeah, cool. yeah, let me put that down. Yeah, because Neb Nebula kind of has a lot more color to it when I think about it. And Lunar, with it being more moon, I kind of like that moonlight aesthetic. Um. Oh, and the Lurking Writer says, try and source some meteorite iron. Star metal. Sir Terry Pratchett did that and forged a sword from it when he was knighted. Okay, wow. that is epic. I would own a piece of star metal and have it hanging on my wall. But that's like, that's a, that is a display sword. That is also, he got knighted with this sword, which I mean, 
I don't want to say I can't ever be knighted, but let's let's kind of be honest here. Um, oh, I'm being also. Oh, we just had a whole bunch of gift subs happen. Oh, thank you, uh, Chiwudichu. Thank you so much for all the gift subs. We appreciate it. Hey. Right here towards the end of the stream. Right here towards the end of our anniversary sketching hour. Um, thank you to Martin, to everybody who gave subs, to everyone who hung out with us in chat and suggested that I buy a cotton candy machine. Thank you to uh, Michelle and Alexis for the, these awesome pieces of art. Uh, Alexis, where can we find more of your awesome art online? Um, I'm on Twitter at Alexis Thero and on Instagram at Alexis.Thero. And Michelle, where can we find more of your awesome art online? Um, uh, Instagram at Michelle Papadopoulos and on Twitter at Art of Michelle. Awesome. And if you have not had a chance to play the new content that has dropped in Idol Champions, you will see art from both of these wonderful people in the game. You will see just so many amazing pieces of art, especially with the, the new Witchlight um, campaign that just came out. And, you know, you get to see Orkira in painted wings and cotton candy, which is amazing. So definitely check all of that out. Hang out. As I said, we're going to be raiding Penny Arcade to go have fun watching the C Team and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow is day two of our anniversary extravaganza where we will have more streams, we will have more Q&A, we will have more giveaways, we will have more. There will just be more of everything. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm supposed to talk about, but I've already talked about everything. Um, yep, so we'll have more tomorrow. And then Friday and Saturday, we are actually off from streaming because the D&D celebration is gonna be happening. So. Um, tomorrow, come hang out with us all day, and then Friday and Saturday, go hang out on the official D&D &D channel so that you can enjoy all of the fun stuff happening there and find out more about all the great D&D &D content that we will eventually have in our game and doing awesome stuff with um, and turning into cake. But until then, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, chat. And we'll see you next encounter. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye.